So chances are when someone visits your website, they're gonna be looking on their phone first. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can take a landing page just like this one in Framer and convert it to be mobile first. Yo, what's going on? My name is Ryan, I'm an official Framer mentor and I'm here to help you level up as a designer and get paid more using Framer. Okay, let's get straight into it. So here we have a landing page in Framer and as you can see, it's pretty nice, right? We've got some nice animations, it looks really clean. But the problem is as I start to scale this down and as I look at it on a tablet or a mobile view, you'll notice it's completely broken and we don't want a bad experience. So let's make this responsive. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add a new breakpoint and we're gonna call this breakpoint phone. We can also do one for tablet and it follows the same process as we'll go through with the phone. So now we actually have a separate view here of what anyone visiting our website on a phone will see. And technically how this works is when someone's browser becomes 390 pixels or less, they're actually going to see this breakpoint. <laughs> the name kind of explains it. As soon as a browser width hits a certain point or a breakpoint, it will break the layout and change to the next breakpoint down. So now that we've got this set out, we can actually go ahead and just restyle everything to match. So let's start with this hero section here. And normally the number one thing uh, causing issues like this is the width or even sometimes the height. And you'll see that uh, my kind of container here, I've actually got a width set of a thousand pixels because that's what it's set on the desktop here. But General rule of thumb is to just automatically set everything to be 100% width, and that's gonna give you a much clearer picture in terms of what you actually need to change. Now, as you can see, this kind of hero section here is a little bit more technical, so we're going to have to change it a little bit more on the actual uh, mobile view. So let's increase the height here to say 600 pixels. And all I'm really trying to do here is just get an idea or get a gauge of where my content is currently sitting. So we've got this section down here, it's got a width of 60%. So I'm just gonna make this full. I actually think this kind of like curved corner here can be rotated and go on the other side. So we'll set that to uh, be on the bottom left now. And we just wanna make sure that everything is within view. So again, 50%. And it is quite just a tedious thing just to go through and just make sure that everything is set to right. But as we kind of do this, you'll start to see my website looks much, much cleaner. So again, uh, for this view, instead of having things stacked horizontally, we actually want to stack them vertically. We want to make sure the width is set to 100%. So everything is contained within that breakpoint. And we just want to make sure that all our elements have this same effect applied. Great. We'll even need to adjust some of the gaps or even paddings depending on the size. Okay, so essentially all I've done now is just gone through and make sure that all my width and everything is essentially set to be 100%. So when I preview this, everything isn't overflowing on my site. Now you still notice there's a couple of things that we still need to fix. For example, the nav bar. Now I'm leaving this separate because it's actually set up as a component and you'll see it doesn't really matter if we try to resize this, like the width is already set to 100% and it's still broken. And the reason for this is because we actually have it set up as a component. And what we need to do is actually go through like I've done here and create a new variation a new variant and we're actually going to call this navigation mobile. So within our component, we're actually going to design a separate view just for mobile. So let's actually remove just some of the navigation links here to make it a lot cleaner. Let's get rid of this login button too. And we can just resize this as well. So we have a better understanding of what it would look like on an actual mobile navigation. So now that we have an idea of what this will look like, we can go back onto our canvas under the breakpoint panel. And now we'll actually switch the variants from desktop to mobile. So on desktop, we're seeing this variant of the components, but on mobile, we're actually seeing another version of the same components. 
So now that that's set through, I can actually go through and fix up the rest of my website. Now you'll notice that everything's kind of going edge to edge, which doesn't look super good when you're kind of previewing it on your phone. So usually what I do now is actually go through, select each sort of like section and add some padding on the left and the right. So for example, here, I would add some padding on the right and I normally make it like 15 or 20 and we'll just stay with 15 for now. I need to do a similar thing here. We go in and we add some padding on the right and left of 15. And I'll select this whole section and we'll add some padding of 15 and 15 and so on. So I'll just quickly go through and finish this for the rest of the site. Now, anytime we've got something overflowing here, I'm just going to make sure my properties are set correctly. Uh, and again, general rule of thumb is use 100%. Okay, great. So now you can see that I've kind of put a padding on all my elements here. So they're no longer contained right to the edge. So if I actually go down to my mobile breakpoint, like you can see everything's starting to feel much nicer. Now, the last thing I want to do is just kind of do a general sweep and see where I can tighten things up. Obviously, the spacing on say uh, desktop's gonna be quite different to mobile. So I just wanna make sure that everything feels right. Okay, great, and that's basically it. So now you can see I've got my desktop breakpoint and as I get smaller down, it'll actually switch to that mobile breakpoint, which as you can see, looks pretty nice and all my properties are still intact without any mobile responsiveness issues. So I think the general rule of thumb here is just to create a new breakpoint and just fix up all the styling and be aware that when I actually change something on mobile, it's not affecting something on desktop. Okay, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you want more Framer content like this, feel free to consider subscribing to the channel and check out the ultimate Framer Masterclass by Flux Academy, which is my A to Z course on mastering Framer. Until next time, I'll catch you later.